The scribe looks very old. His skin is wrinkled and has a slight trace of yellow, like old parchment. Chocolate gray eyes lie within an angular face, and a large white beard flows down the front of his robes like a waterfall. His breathing is ragged and irregular, but even his occasional coughing does not slow the scratching of his quill pen. Let's, uh, let's introduce ourselves. Readings. The scribe stops, scratching in the book before him, then looks up. His eyes are like two nails driven into his skull. So, he stones tired, as if he has repeated the same thing many times before. You have awoken from your sleep and returned to your dream. He continues more respectfully. We'll met again, restless one. Restless one, do you know me? Know you? I... There's a trace of bitterness in the scribe's voice as he speaks. I have never known you, restless one, no more than you have known yourself. You're silent for a moment. For you've forgotten, have you not? Who are you? As always, a question. And a wrong question, as always. He bows slightly, but the movement suddenly sends him into a bout of coughing. I... He pauses for a moment, catching his breath. I am Dal. That question was but the first L. There is much I wish to know. Perhaps you can answer some questions for me. Yeah, perhaps you can answer some questions for me. I think that's what we're going to do. Updated ask. my journal. Very well. What do you wish to know? So confused. Probably a little bit emotional at this point. Uh, I don't think he really cares about what this place is. At the moment. He does care about how he got here. How did I get here? Dal snorts in contempt, as if he finds memory repugnant. Your moldy chariot fared you to the mortuary, restless one. You would think you were royalty based on the number of loyal subjects at least stinking and festering upon the cart that carried you. Uh, okay, I arrived here on a cart. Updated my journal. Yes, your body was somewhere in the middle of the heap, sharing its fluids with the rest of the mountain of corpses. Dell breaks into another violent fit of coughing, finally catching his breath minutes later. Your seneschal, Farad, was as always pleased to accept a new, uh, a few moldy coppers to dump the lot of you at the mortuary gate. Okay, so Farad is our, uh, I guess our, uh, our leader. Hmm. Yeah, tell us about him. Who is this Farad? He is a collector of the dead. Dal draws a ragged breath, then continues. We have such people in our city that scavenge the bodies of those that have walked the path of true death and bring them to us so that they may be interred properly. It doesn't sound like you like Ferret much. There are some I respect, restless one. Dal takes a ragged breath and steadies himself. Ferret is not one of them. He wears his ill repute like a badge of honor and takes liberties with the possessions of the dead. He is a knight of the post, cross-trading filth of the lowest sort. Knight of the post? Never heard this before. What's that mean? A knight of the post, a thief. All Farad brings to our walls comes stripped of little less than their dignity than they possessed in life. Farad takes whatever he may pry from their stiffening fingers. Did this Farad take anything from me? He may have taken a journal. Dal pauses, considering. Most likely. Are you missing anything? Especially anything of value? His voice dips as he frowns. Not that Farad would take exception to anything that wasn't physically grafted to your body. And sometimes even that's not enough to keep his greedy mind pause. Mm, I am missing a journal. A journal? If it was of any value, then it likely lies in Farad's hands. I see. So where can I find this Farad, then? If events persist as they have, Restless One, you have a much greater chance of Farad finding you and bringing you to us again before you find whatever ooze puddle he wallows in this time. Alright, well I think the journal being his only chance of knowing anything right now, he's going to say. Nevertheless, I must find him. A slight warning creeps into Dal's tone. 
Do not seek out Farid, Restless One. I am certain it will simply come full circle again, with you none the wiser and Farid a few coppers richer. Accept death, Restless One. Do not perpetuate your circle of misery. <sighs> well, no, and I was getting a bit emotional. I have to find him. Do you know where he is? Updated my journal. Dal is silent for a moment. When he finally speaks, he seems to so reluctantly. I do not know under which gutter stone Farid layers at the moment, but I imagine that he can be found somewhere beyond the mortuary gates. In the hive. Perhaps someone there will help you. Ah, uh, yeah, know where you can find him. Hmm. So we could ask about the mortuary, but, uh, yeah. Can you tell me a bit more about the mortuary? Information might be helpful. This is where the dead of Sigil are brought to be interred or cremated. Yeah, excuse me. Interred or cremated. It is our responsibility as dustmen to care for the dead. Those who have left the shadow of life and walked the path to true death. Thal's word voice drops in concern. Your wounds must have exacted a heavy toll if you do not recognize this place. It is almost your home. Home. <sighs> okay. What is true death? What do you mean by that? True death is not existence. A state devoid of reason, of sensation, of passion. Dalkovson gives a ragged breath. A state of purity. Mm, sounds like oblivion. Why would anyone want that? It is worse than remaining in the shadow of what life once was. Oh, is it worse than remaining in the shadow of life once was? I think not. Alright, so what's the shadow of life then? Yes, a shadow. You see, Restless One, this life, it is not real. Your life, my life, they are shadows, flickering of what life once was. This life is where we end up after we die. And here we remain trapped, caged, until we can achieve the true death. Okay, what makes you think this life isn't real? So I think, uh, I think we're getting a little bit panicked at this point. What makes you think this life is real? Look inside yourself. Do you not feel something lacking? Thal shakes his head. This is purgatory. There is only sorrow here, misery, torment. These are not the elements that make up life. They are part of the cage that traps us in this shadow. So, yeah, what's this option? I think your fatalism has gotten the better of you. Those elements are part of life, but not the whole of it. Cage us how? Enough of your philosophy. What does all this talk have to do with me waking up here? Yeah. Normally he might be interested in saying something a bit more philosophical like his first option, but I think he's going to say enough of your philosophy. What does this have to do with me? Dahl shakes his head. Passions carry weight. They anchor many to the shadow of life. As long as one clings to emotion, oh, they will be continually reborn into this life, forever suffering, never knowing the purity of true death. I see. How does one escape the cycle of rebirth to achieve this true death? We're not really interested in this. I think we're a bit more selfish at the moment and we want to keep going, so... Instead, what we're going to say is, tell me more about the mortuary. No, we already asked that. Um, Sigil's the world we're in. It's our fair city. Oh, it's the city. Okay. Tell me about... No. Wounds? Yeah. Yes, the wounds that decorate your body. They look as if they would have sent a lesser man along the path of the true death. Yet it seems as though many of them have healed already. Doc coughs violently for a moment, then steadies himself. But there is there only the surface wounds. That's ominous. Alright, I had some other questions. Oh no, there's an option there. Alright, no wait, let's go back. Bit the mortuary wounds only surface wounds. Updated what do you mean? My journal. I speak of the wounds of the mind. 
You have forgotten much, have you not? Mayhap your true wounds run much deeper than the scars that decorate your surface. Thal coughs again, but that is something that only you would know for certain. Except we don't. <sighs> I see I had some other questions. Hmm. Do you know who I am? I think we've already went through that. But let's try it again. Updated my journal. I know scant little of you, restless one. I know little more of those that have journeyed with you. And who now lie in our keeping. Thal sighs. I ask that you no longer ask others to join with you, restless one. Or you walk, so walks misery. Let your burden be your own. There are others who have journeyed with me, and they Updated are Updated my journal. Do you not know the woman's corpse interred in the memorial hall below? I thought that she had traveled with you in the past. Dal looks like he is about to start coughing again, then catches his breath. Am I mistaken? Where is her body? The Northwest Memorial Hall on the floor below us. Check the beers there. Her name... Beers. Beers? I'm not sure that word. There, her name should be on one of the memorial plaques. Mayhap that will revive your memory. Um... I'm not just going to say that, because he knows we don't remember anything. We've already said that. You said there were others. Who else is there? Mayhap I'll go find her. I'll go to the memorial hall below and see if I can find her body. Say, so, you said there were others. Who else is there? Doubtless there are, but I know not their names, nor where they lie. One such as you has left a path many have walked, and few have survived. Gestures around you. All dead come here. Some must have traveled with you once. Hmm. I will look for them then. Maybe they can spark my memory. Farewell. As you turn to leave, Dell speaks. Know this, I do not envy you, restless one, to be reborn as you would be a curse that I could not bear. You must come to terms with it. At some point, your past will return you here. Dell coughs, the sound rattling in his throat. It is the way of all things, flesh and bone. And perhaps we will meet again, Dahl. Uh, weren't there a few other things we could ask him? Yeah, I have some more questions. What do you do here, or can you tell me how to get out of here? I don't think uh, our character really cares about Dahl sounding ill, but... I guess he'll ask more out of curiosity. I'm close now to the true death, restless one. It will not be long before I pass beyond the eternal boundary and find the peace I have been seeking. I tire of this mortal sphere. Thal gives a ragged sigh. The plains hold no more wonders for one such as I. Are you certain there may be some way I could help you? Yeah, we'll ask that. Again, more out of curiosity. I do not wish to live forever, nor live again, restless one. I could not bear it. Let's ask instead about... Can you tell me how to get out of here? Hmm, the front grate is the most obvious exit, but they will not let anyone other than Dustman pass. Dahl breaks into a ragged cough, then continues. One of the guides by the front gate has a key to it, but it is unlikely he will open it for you unless you are extremely persuasive. I see. And... What is it exactly that you do here? I'm a scribe, a cataloger of all the shells that come to the mortuary. Thal coughs again, then takes a deep breath. As long as a stream of corpses flows through the mortuary, I shall remain at my post. Except you say that the true death is approaching, so... Anyway. Hmm. You say that I've been here more than once. How is that that the dustmen do not recognize me? Updated my journal. I am the one that catalogs the shells that come into our halls, restless one. Dahl breaks into a cough uh, and studies himself. Only I see the faces of those that lie upon our slabs. The dark of your existence lies safe with me. Hmm. Alright, it seems I owe you a favor. Farewell, Dahl. Yeah, and he already told us that. 
So let's go talk to this corpse. The walking corpse has the numbers 1094. Again, uh, mouth tight shut. Chemical reek of fresh formaldehyde. Hmm. Clearus was once a handsome young man. We'll leave it in peace. Done. The corpse has been completely wrapped in bandages like a mummy. Hmm. Looks like we can see out into a balcony here. All right. I'm gone. I'm gone. I wonder if there's a way I can make him quiet. Anyway. Options to look into for later. All right. So there's a shelf here with a logbook. Take a look at that. Ooh, copper commons and fist irons. Take those. I'm gone. Done. And I think we're too. I'm gone. Northwest was where the body was buried. The one that we want to look at. Maybe jog our memory a bit. Done. So north and west. So it's kind of in that I'm area. Gone. But we need to find. I'm gone. Stairs down. Done. Down. Yeah, not done. Down. All right. I'm gone. Hmm. Can I? Can I actually mute him? Whoop. Uh, journal screen. Yeah. Of one of the women who journeyed with me is interred in the memorial hall on the first floor's mortuary. Hmm. So do we have options? Can I rest? Options. Um, yeah, I don't think I really want to do anything with that yet. Keyboard mappings. This might be helpful. Actions, mage spells, priest spells. All right. So it doesn't look as though there's a way to move with the keyboard, but that's fine. One is attack though, so that might be kind of important. Other than that, three is guard. It's guard attack, cast spell. Yeah. Gameplay option. This controls the delay before two tulips would disappear. Right, let's keep the delay small for now. Uh, difficulty can stay where it is. I guess gore is on. Is there always? Hmm. Always run, yeah. So we can move faster. Uh, if we hold which key? Uh, running? Shift, maybe? I'm not sure. But I think I will turn on running for now. Just to uh, just speed things along a bit. All right. That's better. I'm gone. Okay. 